Welcome to Ironsides guys, uh, Tuesday night, uh, historical certainly for the club, um, first training session on our new 4G pitch which um, yeah a lot of guys turn out um, but not only that we've got with us this evening Craig Felston, 25 year old uh, regular outside half for the first team, senior team um, and has been doing some other stuff as well in uh, recent days, weeks, years. Um, so I've got Craig just for a quick chat. Hi Craig. Hi Eric. <laughs> um, so yeah, Ironsides, we're here to talk about other stuff, obviously international, uh, you know, you're wearing different jerseys, but uh, Ironsides, why, how, when, how long? Sure, yeah. So how did it all start? Yeah, so I've probably come to the end of my uh, second season now. Um, kind of had a few meetings with um, some of the guys about two years ago and um, kind of talked about the club and said how good it was came down and uh, yeah it was all kind of true really so been here for um, for yeah two seasons and, and looking to stay for a, for a few seasons more. So coming into a club like Ironsides I mean when was your um, I don't know you've been pretty regular number 10 for the first team when was your first? Sure so yeah I remember the um, Remember the first pre-season game we had? It was uh, against um, KCS Old Boys, uh, Foolies above us at the time. Friday night, and it was a pretty tough way, uh, tough way to start. I think we scored one try, uh, and they scored um, definitely a few more than one. But then, um, yeah, we kicked off a season against Weybridge um, those two years ago, and yeah, it's been going really well since. And we uh, we seem to keep kicking off all the seasons against Weybridge. So um, who knows what next season will will bring? Mm. And certainly. Um Obviously, for myself, uh, managing you lot and, and being part of the system, but um, you know we we're currently fourth, um, which is I think we ended last season at seven, yeah, seven seventh at uh, twelve, so fourth that uh, pretty good, huh? Feels yeah. feels good. Yeah, really good. I think we had high hopes going into the season. Um, obviously, came across some some really good teams sitting at the top there. Um, dropped down a little bit, and yeah, going for fourth. I think a lot of people are. A right kind of um, up our backs, but yeah, a few games to go. I'm feeling pretty confident we can um, we can hold on to fourth and maybe reassess and next season go up another two positions and, and kind of secure that promotion. Cool. So, uh, main reason for sitting down this evening, uh, obviously you're wearing a t-shirt as a bit of a clue, Moldova. So, um, Moldova. What's the background? Yeah, oh, so right. it's a, a, bit, a bit of a different one. As you can probably tell from my um, from my accent, born and uh, and bred in uh, yeah in, in England, but um, have a um, more Dovin grandfather, um, kind of came from from that part of the world, moved across to um, to Leeds many moons ago, and um, yeah, kind of reached out to, to to their management probably kind of 2013 time, um, went across and yeah managed to to start playing some kind of seven tournaments and kind of quickly went. Kind of found myself uh, starting at ten in um, in some pretty big games pretty quickly. So what was the first the first year the first game the yeah, first so fixture? Sure. Can, uh, that, that must stick in your head. That must be like a special moment to put the jersey on and trot out. And yeah, definitely. It was um, a real surreal um, experience. So it was actually against um, Sweden, and they were really struggling that year. Um, they're not actually in um, in our kind of league anymore. And yeah, absolutely kind of massive game. My um, mum and dad flew out last minute. Um, I can't for the life of me remember the score, 58-10, 58-3 maybe, something like that. What, you won? Uh, we won, yeah. And we, Did you score? Uh, I, we, I, on your debut? On conversions, yeah. We actually scored in the left-hand corner um, quite quite early on. I remember um, yeah, kicking it from the left-hand touchline and facing the, um, the stands and running back and thinking, bloody hell, this is, um, <laughs> this is quite serious stuff. <laughs> So just just for the guys, I mean, this is going to go on the website and stuff. Just for the, I suppose the whole membership, a little bit of context about Moldova, where they are, how it fits in the whole kind of world rugby structure. Sure. A little bit of that, you can probably explain it better than, better than me. So yeah, if you can, just a couple of minutes on that. Sure. Yes. Obviously, um, firstly, we're playing what's called the what's newly called the European Trophy. Um, it kind of acts as a six nations for um, kind of the other countries in Europe. So the one above us, which is kind of 
um, promotion. Relegation would be the kind of one you already know, which is Georgia, um, Romania, Russia, and Spain, and, and so forth. So we have kind of promotion, relegation with, with those guys. And unfortunately, you probably read it a lot in the press at the moment. There is no promotion above that, even though Georgia are kind of, you know, knocking on the door. Uh, so yeah, so we sit in what would be kind of technically the, the Six Nations C, the, the third one. But um, struggling this year massively. We used to um, kind of really dominate and, and finish kind of second most years, but through kind of some circumstances out of our control, we're, um, we're kind of fighting for survival, unfortunately, right at that kind of bottom of the, um, what's called the European trophy. Mm. Mm. So, I mean, with the kids, juniors and whatever coach, I've been to Portugal, obviously last weekend you played Portugal. Sure. Um, they're pretty feisty guys. They've got a lot of, uh, not surprising with their history, um, passionate rugby players. How do you find it? Sure, playing yeah. Portugal. Yeah, I mean, um, I've, I've actually thought to play Portugal twice at, at, at theirs and, uh, and, uh, and at ours. I mean, their stadium was, um, yeah, fantastic. National, kind of um, national stadium, fast track, obviously, you know, really famous for, for playing the sevens. They've got one of the top point scorers of full time with a guy called Pedro Leal. Uh, yeah, look, fa fantastic team and they, they put us away there. They, they really like to kind of spin it about. Mm. I think their kind of passion wavers a bit when they come up against some um, some kind of Eastern European um, monsters. Uh, I mean, we're friendly guys, but we we kind of overpower them in the scrums and so forth. So they like to try and play um, a faster game. Yeah, a faster game against yeah. us, and that's shown by their kind of um, their recent what five years or so playing in those World Series. Obviously, they've just been um, pipped down, but they're they're you know very talented, very um, kind of mm. well-drilled team and mm. hard hard defending against. So have you got uh, any more fixtures coming up? Yeah, we've got one more game um, in this kind of European trophy against uh, the Czech Republic in Prague. So they're kind of on a high, recently played the, the Barbarians, I think, last year and have been on a, a massive high since. So we, we actually need to go to their place, pick up a bonus point win um, to stay in it. But um, yeah, look, here's hoping and hopefully I'll be uh, on that team sheet, hopefully it kind of, yeah, outside half for, um, for April. Wicked. Okay, so just finally, just a bit of trivia. Um, I don't know, Ironsides, best memory? Yeah, it's, it's hard to think of kind of best memories for, um, for Ironsides. We've had, um, we had some really good, yeah, loads of really good wins. I remember um, kind of being, I think we beat Basingstoke uh, last year in the pouring rain. Um, I cut, nearly cut my ear off. Um, bleed, bleeding all over the shop. I think physio was um, scared. It, it had come off, and what was part of panicking. And I, I really, I think I can't remember the score was kind of six five or or, or or eight five or something like that. But it was kind of sideways rain intermittently stopped with mad sunshine to go back to sideways rain, and, and we held on, and we had quite a few losses up to that point. And we, um, yeah, we, we turned over their place and massive bus back. Um, and so forth. So there's been absolutely loads of kind of good memories, but I think that one sticks out as um, yeah, a kind of potential. Um, yeah, maybe a facial dis. I don't know. Yeah, could have lost a, lost a, kind of lost an ear, but uh, we ended up winning. So that's pretty. But you're all right. You got two ears. Yeah. Still. Yeah. I mean, okay. You, you're I mean, still, you're still looking all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, worst memory apart from losing uh, your ear, nearly. Yeah. Worst memory. Look, it's, it's really. God, I don't think we have. Um, we, we have to. Maybe make, you don't have any. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's obviously bitterly disappointment. Disappointment in some games. You know, we, we've lost a few games this season by kind of one or two points. Mm. Um, and they're really hard to take. Last year we played easily, just lost. Um, yeah, they're, they're really hard kind of... It's kind a of tough league, it's a tough league. Exactly, yeah, it's last year league. it was, we won 1-1, lost 1-1, one, won one, lost one type yeah. thing, and this year we're doing better. So yeah. they're kind of, those those rubbish times are quickly erased by a, by a win. So okay. hopefully we can get a few more wins and a, a few more cycles of memories. So same question that for your international career. Sure, yeah. Best memory, worst memory, Moldova. Yeah, look, best, best memories, absolutely loads. It could go on for, forever and ever. Well, being remember, picked, I suppose. Yeah, I, I remember, <laughs> um, uh, firstly, I, I remember playing my first ever sevens game, European Championships, um, no international experience, sitting there on a kind of back pitch, warming up, Oasis playing, obviously, famous English band, going out to play for an adopted country, um, was was incredible. It gets ellipsed by... Um, 
um, playing Sweden first game, going out on the pitch with mascots, national anthem, parents there, Amazing. and then second game you're, you're beating Germany, scoring bonus point wins. It, it honestly, it's kind of like one of those things where Difficult to take every in. time you play a new game, yeah. back in the heyday probably more, you know, playing against Cell Sharks, the Dim Cobblers and Bordeaux, the MGI, people like these, you know, regular on Sky Sports, PT Sport, um, they are some, some really good memories and probably worst memory was, um, yeah, look, looking to get in that World Cup 2015 and um, kind of doing all we needed to do up to pretty much last game and in the end, um, it would have made a difference anyway, but losing to a, a lower ranked team of Czech Republic, um, everyone was pretty kind of distraught. News mm. came in that Germany had you know, won anyway with bonus points, so it wouldn't have made a difference anyway. But mm. when that whistle went, knowing that you, you, yeah, you lost a team 20 you know, places below you, yeah. um, a country pretty small for rugby could have got into all, well, latter stages of a World Cup was, was really bitter. But mm. um, yeah, look, those good memories massively outweigh those, that one mm. bad memory. Okay, I think I think we're finished there. Thanks for your time, mate. Yeah, no worries. Um, and good luck in April. Next game, last game. Yeah, hopefully you'll be on the team sheet. Yeah, I, I reckon you will be. Um, thanks for your time. Yeah, no worries. Uh, take care. Bye bye.